Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? The black horseman of the apocalypse is not done galloping yet. Matter of fact, just now getting started. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average already falling to negative. It's down 388 points. And it's reacting to markets abroad on this September 1st. This could be a September to remember, and here's why. We had an explosion last night in China, another chemical plant, the third in two weeks. We have a, a uh, scuffle going on right now, if you want to call it that. Six Palestinians are dead. Uh, rockets are flying out of Gaza into Israel. Uh, Israel is uh, in the process of dealing with that. Also, Russia has uh, sent in MiG fighter jets into Syria, setting up a base, getting prepared to bomb ISIS and to join forces with Iran in Syria on the border of Israel. What's that about? And the stock market's down 388 points and uh, the Euphrates River is running dry. And the preacher man says it's the end of time. And are you going to survive? Well, let me just read to you what it says here. N new New month, but the same old negative, scary correction is what Wall Street is saying as the Dow plunges right now, negative 388. Uh, I don't know where it will wind up today. It could lose another 500 points today. Uh, the first day of September on Wall Street looks like the uh, trading action uh, has gotten, maybe will be worse even than in May of 2010. The sell-off began in Asia as the weak economic news out of Beijing, China, and then it spread to Europe. Shares began to fall also in Japan. Japan fell nearly 4% today. Uh, stocks are down 2.2% in Hong Kong. Shanghai lost 1.2% of their market. Europe lost 2% of their market, including London, Germany, and France. So investors are looking for a respite from the selling that pushed the Dow uh, down 6.6% for the entire month of August, even though it rebounded some, it lost 6.6% of the entire market in the month of August and is down 388 points as we speak right now. The Chinese currency manipulations continue to affect Asian and European and American markets. And so they're screaming on Wall Street. They're panicking on Wall Street again. But here's the good news for Main Street. It won't affect you at all. If anything, the prices will drop in on commodities. The price of oil will continue to fall, which means gasoline prices will go down. Prices of goods and services, prices on the shelves will go down. You see, a stock market correction or even uh, stumbling doesn't hurt Main Street. What hurts Main Street is no jobs. What hurts Main Street is bad policies that move jobs out of the country into other countries for cheap labor and then exporting it or importing it back into the country to the same people who lost their jobs. Uh, what hurts the economy and Main Street is when uh, lack of jobs means lack of income, which means lack of taxation, which means lack of social services. So the way you turn a nation around is to create the economy. As the economy is strong, so will the entire uh, cultural shift that takes place. It's all part of it. Now, the greatest thing anybody could do is get your life right with God. And if the Bible says if, if the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but if the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And so what we have right now under Obama administration is a constant decay of this, um, of this great nation of America. A constant and where's he at today? Well, where is the president? He's renaming a mountain. He's, he is insulting this country's history by removing William McKinley, 
the mountain, Mount McKinley, being renamed to the great high one, Denali. He says he's doing it for the American, Native Americans. If you want to help the Native Americans, get them some jobs. Quit moving all the manufacturing out of the country and move it into the reservations or into the areas where they live. You've just insulted a president, a 25th president of the United States who was assassinated. And what's, what is Obama doing with, uh, with the Iranian nuke deal and Benghazi and Fast and Furious and the IRS scandal and the NSA scandal and the Hillary Rodham email scandal and the Iranian nuke deal and setting up an embassy in Cuba yet leaving the Castros in power. I mean, are you serious? I'm going to be in West Monroe, Louisiana. I just signed the, uh, signed the contract to rent out the Civic Center in West Monroe, Louisiana. It seats 1,100 people if we need it. And I'm going to be speaking there. I'm holding a Take America Back conference. It will be March the 12th, West Monroe, Louisiana. We're going to set up an event page here in the next day or two. You can start uh, reserving your seat. Take America Back. And we're going to do it through prayer through, and prophecy and through the power of the Word of God. It's going to be a very prophetic conference. You don't want to miss it. I'll let you know who the other speakers are going to be, be besides myself and, and Sister Heidi. I'll let you know who the other two speakers will be soon. Take America back. West Monroe, Louisiana. March the 12th, 2016. As we're putting our schedule together for next year. Keep praying. We need to get people saved. We need to turn this country around through prayer, through the power of God.